Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Bear with me. Woo, downloads are coming quick. Britney Spears Syndrome. That's what I'm going to coin this is. Basically, that's when the people around you see you suffering, see you going through the dark night, and decide they're going to take care of your finances for you. And in the process, they become thieves. And when you're better, instead of them giving your money back that you worked hard for, they decide to keep it like thieves. That's the syndrome. It's not the person that's suffering. It wasn't Britney Spears. She was just in wasn't in the right state, but she needed help. But but the people that put in charge didn't want to give the money back when it was time, right? I don't know why I thought about that. There's a certain there's an instance I know of with somebody I know personally that's dealing with that. That, that they were they have no, the per, the people that they gave money to to hold has no have no respect for them. So when they ask for their money back, they say, "Well, that person has a gambling problem, or that person, you know, we're concerned." So that's basically an excuse for thievery. For thievery, excuse me. I'm a little pissed about this because I hate when I think about this because it's wrong. If if it's your money and somebody has it and they steal it, it's wrong. If you have an inheritance and somebody knows about it in their family and they decide to keep it from you and you don't get it, that's theft. That's bad karma. I mean. Hell, I don't, it could be in my family. Who knows? <laughs> my mom, my mother's side of the family. Good Lord. Talk about shady, right? No offense, but yeah, yeah. There was no, yeah. There was no strict moral code there. And it was it was just fucking sharks, man. That's all I can say is sharks. I, that, there was no warmth from that side, and unfortunately. My grandpa, was he tried, I think, a little bit. My grandmother, she was just, yeah, she was a Nazi. I hate to say it. My grandmother, she was a badass bitch, apparently. I saw pictures of her, you know, I had them, of her like in a bike gang in the 40s or 50s when they all dressed up in the in the leather and they go riding around the, in the Indians and the Harleys. Yeah, there's pictures of her with a whole bunch of people lined up on the road and they're in fucking bikes and she's in her little outfit and the leather hat and I'm like, that's my grandma? But she was a bitch. She was not warm and fuzzy to me at all. I don't know how she treated my my aunt's kids, my Carol's kids and, and Cindy's kids because they were obviously, you know, coddled my my mother was black sheep so we were we were black sheep by a proxy right so anyway oh, i just had to get this out real quick so that's it anyway i rambled a little bit but it was important to you know try to focus and, and like i said so it, this is interesting i was going to sell today but it got windy and i was like what am i going to do and next thing you know i just started getting downloads and that's how it works i guess anyway I'm gonna let you go. Try to remember, watch your karma. Don't let nobody, you know, take what's yours and keep it. That's bullshit, period, end of story. Karma will get them. I'm just saying that it, I just try to tell people ahead of time, when I see it coming, I'm like, karma's gonna get you, Bubba. If you, if you keep on that path, karma's gonna catch up to you. And you're doing wrong, right? If you're keeping somebody's money that doesn't belong to you, it'll catch up to you, baby. And then you'll be apologizing on your death, but oh, I'm sorry, I don't wanna go to hell, so please. That shit's tiring, baby. No, you can take it with you. If you ain't got the balls to stand up and do it right, who knows? It's going to be karmic circles. Maybe it's just going to come back as, you know, somebody's just piss on, you know what I mean? As a slave. I don't know how it works. Karma's a trip. You might come back as a dog that people just beat your whole life. I don't know. Just watch your ass, man. Be kind. Love each other. And don't be stealing from other people. It's just wrong. Anyways, with that... I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. So be good.